girls. Did you eat all the weeds I gave you? And your food in there? You must be hungry. These girls are only about two months old. <laughs> they're growing so fast, they're gonna be huge. And they're so friendly. <laughs> there you go. I'll bring you some cabbage in a little bit. That'll be good. <laughs> they're so cute. Okay, I've got all the pieces cut for the rabbit tractor, and Jack here was a good helper, weren't you? Yeah. Yeah. Rabbits are escaping the pen, so I've got to make this rabbit tractor. I already had the pieces, but now it's more urgent because um, they were all out this morning. They pushed the little feeder out and get a, get out. Uh, I didn't want to make it real big because we can move it around, and um, you know they don't need that much room as long as we're moving it around. So. But I wanted to make it the uh, same width as this wire here, and I didn't want to have to buy a whole bunch of rolls of it, so I got one 25-foot roll. We're going to make this thing five feet long, two feet tall, and then the ends of it, and I've got all the pieces cut. So I wanted to get that done before I started the video, and now we're just going to put it all together. Okay, so here is the frame. We don't have it glued yet, but this is the frame. It's five feet long, two feet wide, two feet high. And I may, since the wire frame is actually gonna be sitting on the ground, I may cut these corners just a little bit down because see here's, let's see if I can get this. Here's the, that's sitting on the frame, but this is actually gonna be sitting on the ground. And I want to use wire to attach it to the frame. So I may take these corners down a little bit, um, but I wanna make, I wanna go ahead and make the cage first. Um, because I just want to make sure that I make accurate cuts and everything. When it's something like this, to me it seems pretty simple to make. So I hardly ever measure. Now I did measure all these just to make sure they're all the same length. But um, anyway, when we're attaching the actual cage to the frame, I'm probably not going to measure it, in the, the initial cut. So I'll just eyeball it or whatever and we'll see how it turns out. Okay, I did measure the distance on the inside of the pipe, the um, PVC pipe, from one end to the other. And I'm cutting this um, hardware cloth to that exact length, or maybe just a hair under, just so it'll be inside the frame and we can connect it with wire um, or zip ties or whatever. And then what I'm going to do for the inside, this is going to be the top. For the, end, for the sides and the end of it, we're going to use one long piece. It's going to have two this way and then the ends, but I'm going to make it all one long piece. We're just going to bend it. And then I'll show you what I'm going to do with the bottom. We finally have all of our pieces cut and bent into shape. This one's going to be the four walls. That one is going to be the top. And then I chose this uh, it's fencing we already had for one thing, but... Um, the bigger squares is going to be on the bottom. There doesn't necessarily have to be anything on the bottom, but I think it will help the cage um, hold its shape better. And then also it will prevent any potential predators from getting in the bottom of it and possibly the bunnies escaping. So it's um, not big enough for them to fit through, but it's also, uh, I didn't want to get anything smaller than this because since they're going to be on the ground, we're going to have to move them around a lot and I want the poop to be able to go straight through it and them not be, we have to move them around often because um, from what I understand, that's where the parasites come from if they you know, are in their poop a lot and uh, if they have to walk around in it much. So we're gonna be moving around quite a bit and this will allow it to fall through but keep the rabbits safe, keep them inside and everything. We'll probably put a board down for them or, a, or even just pick them up and hold them while we're moving them because they are domesticated rabbits, they're tame. So anyway, that's our plan. We're going to put it together now. Let me know if you need me to hold the wire. Uh, these are so easy to do. I know, you're getting really fast at it too. Because you helped with a couple other projects, you're getting fast at this.
These are called J clips. And what he's using is a J clip pliers. And I got it all on Amazon. Ones I got, these red handled ones. Um, I think they had like the best rating. They weren't the number one seller because they're more expensive. The number one seller, a lot of the negative reviews said that they, um, they sometimes cause more frustration than anything because you have to take them back off again. It doesn't clamp them right. I have had zero problems with this one. I've never had one mess up. They work beautifully. So we're attaching the bottom to the end here. And this is all one long piece. We're gonna attach the bottom to it, then we're gonna attach the top with the J-clips. I love you. these things. So we probably should be wearing gloves because the edges of this, of this is pretty sharp. But even if I was wearing gloves, I would have still got scratched. Jacob's been scratched a couple times. It's nothing major, major, but it does sting a little bit. So he's got a band-aid on there somewhere. He scratched his ankle. Poor Jacob. We have the bottom attached and we put it inside the PVC frame. And it is, I don't know, I think it's close enough to the frame that we may not cut the PVC down anymore. We still need to attach the top, but we're gonna go ahead and put the bunnies in here so they can start chomping on this grass. And then we'll attach half of the top and then we gotta make a lid for it so we can get in and out and get to the rabbits when we need to. So he's going to get the rabbits now. Here he comes. Looky there. Hey, you like that? You got some grass? We'll put you in the shade in just a second. Kind of hot right here in the sun. <laughs> it's been a few days since we built the rabbit tractor and it wasn't quite complete when I last filmed. Well, they've been moving around a little bit, just kind of not in a row or anything, but it's been moved around a little bit and they haven't even been here very long and they're eating it up quite, quite well. But here it is. We do actually need to redo the top and fix the door on there because this was just temporary with the snake bite happening and everything and I just haven't didn't get it didn't get to it right away so kind of made a mess with the PVC glue but they love it they love being moved around and um, I am gonna have a more a little bit more permanent shelter for them rather than just the top tarp but um, you know the the weather's not getting very cold right now so and they're not they're they're babies but they're almost they're getting really big they're not having babies of their own yet, all that. So tarp, tarp will work for now, but uh, we'll have something. Woo, sorry girls. <laughs> they do have a water bottle down at the other end. And that's another thing too, we're gonna fix a, uh, we have those chicken nipples. We're gonna fix a automatic water that will attach to this and um, all you gotta do is fill it up on the outside. It's, it'll be easier than the water bottle though. And it should hold more water. It moves around with them and then you just drink it from there. Uh, that'll be another video too, so. Anyway, just wanted to wrap up this video and show you how they're doing in their new little rabbit tractor. They're so sweet. They actually got out a couple times before we attached the top. But they're completely safe now and they love it. And that's it. Say bye. Can you say bye? Aww.